Hello everyone, I am Eva Delix Shegun Banijo and I am with me is my beloved wife. My name is Eva Delix Titi Lalo Banijo. We warmly welcome you to our YouTube channel, Shegun Banijo, formerly known as Actuality TV of Idiot's Nation. With a great joy and anticipation, we warmly invite you to our YouTube channel. On our channel, we are dedicated to bringing you spiritually edifying and entertaining content. Not just to entertain you, but to enrich your spirit so properly. We invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you will find a treasure truth of spiritual insights and teachings. By watching, liking, and sharing our video, to join the community of people that spread the gospel and inspire others in the journey of faith. Together, we can build a bridge between entertainment and enlightenment. So, dear friends, we humbly urge you to join us on this spiritual adventure. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch our videos. Share with, with your loved, loved ones. ones. God, God bless you. Can hear you, sir? Yes, sir. How are you, sir? Oh, yes, sir. How is mommy and um, Oi? In fact, I call you because of Oi. Oh. Oi is working with my friends again. Uh -uh. I am warned and sweating how much she feels to change. I just started showing in her place. <laughs> this girl. <laughs> so, she, she, she really. The last time I spoke with her, I asked her how is her spiritual life going. She said she's, she's growing steadily, so she deceived me. Uh, sir, please, tell her to put a call to me right away. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, sir. You do, sir. Thank you, sir. Ah, uh -uh. Nostara, please sit. What happened? What's why did you get? Please, please help me, Doctor. Please. What's going on? Help me find Christ, please. Can I, can I pray with you? Yes, please. 
Oh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, you will, you will repeat <laughs> after me, okay? Oh, Father, dear Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, thank you for dying for me. Thank you for dying for me. Thank you that you went to the green and you resurrected on the third day. <laughs> For resurrecting on the third day. Jesus. Jesus. Take me over. Take me over. Jesus. Jesus. Use my life. Use my life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. For Jesus. redeeming me back to new life. For redeeming me to a new life. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I am your new son. I am your new child. I am your new child. I am your new child. Accept me, Lord. Accept me, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. It is well, boy. Please, please sit down, sit down. Sit down. Thank you. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Was there. Thank you, see, you so much. You see, um, now that you give your life to Jesus, you, you will have to do away with all your cold life and sinful life with friends. Okay? Uh, you have to dedicate yourself to Jesus completely and work out your salvation with him. With training. Okay? Uh, see, all you need to understand is whosoever is in Christ Jesus is a new creature. All things are passed away. New things begins new. Okay? I know the Lord is going to help you and you will have a better life. Amen. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you so much. Um, what church do you attend? Yes, yeah. Power in Time Church. Yes. Okay. Um, I would love to be attending your oh, church. Oh, that, that's, that's great. That's good news. I actually, I would like to work with God. Mm, thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much, Doctor. It is I feel this you. peace. Hallelujah. That's the spirit of the Lord. Thank you. It is well, it is well. I trust the Lord is going to help you. Hmm. Hmm. This is serious. Ha. Huh. You are treading on a dangerous ground. I'm even short of words. Because you are not like this before. When did this start? Two weeks. It all started two weeks ago. Honestly, I'm scared because I don't even understand my own actions. I discover I have begun to repel at the slightest touch. Sometimes I fake sleep and fake illness just so I could be left alone. Last night we had a quarrel and for the first time my husband left the bedroom to sleep in the sitting room. Wow. Midi, I'm scared. Oh God. Then, I don't take such things with levity. No, you know me. You know if I were you, how we handle these things in prayer. You know the strange thing is, each time I try to pray about it, I just feel this weakness all over. And then I slip off. <laughs> wow. <sighs> well, you know one thing? Things like this has never happened to me. Because <laughs> me, I don't take such things with levity, you know me. Because even if my husband did not ask for it, I would definitely ask him. For the past three weeks that my husband has been away, in fact, I've not been finding it easy at all. I've been trying to take some precautions, like I don't allow a male to come to my house, neither do I do that. I don't allow any undue touch. In fact, I know that my body is the temple of the Lord and his sanctuary. When is your husband coming back? Well, my husband will be coming back next week. I can't wait to have my honey back. In fact, this year you should call for serious attention. We need to raise an altar urgently. Baby. Hi. Oh, oh man of God. Good evening. Hi. Hello, hey, darling. How are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm very well. All right, sir. 
How you doing, ma? I'm fine. Okay, and how was your day? Very well. Okay. You're welcome, sir. Absolutely. Thank you for your time to attend to me. Ah, are you leaving already? <laughs> it's okay. Okay, darling. Yeah. Let me just see you. So, see me well to your husband when he comes okay. back. Honey, how was your day? Oh, um, very well, thank you. Um, I hope you remember to bring my friend's recommended room. Oh. Oh, so sorry. Yes, I forgot. Um, Gloria? Yes, sir. Okay, um, help me to what I gave you. All right, I'll uh, have to bring it, okay? All right, sir. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, honey. Yeah? Why did you look at her like that? Who's that? Gloria, of course. <clears throat> And how did I look at her? I saw the way you looked at her. And you said, my dear. <sighs> okay. So, if I look at her anyhow or somehow, or call her dear, Anita, what was that? Oh, who caused it? Who caused it? You, of course. Definitely you caused it. Do you know how many times you have, you have denied me of, of my conjugal rights? And, and you left me in the cold every night? Come on, Anita, come on, please. Ha! Ah. Hey, hey! Honey, just hear the words that is, that is coming out of your mouth. You, you were looking at her in a very, in a lustful way, and you called her, my dear. And then you, you just called me by my name. You just called me Anita. <laughs> hey, hey, honey, you are changing. You are changing and I don't like it. Really? Like seriously? Changing? Who is changing? No, Nanita, who is changing? You have changed completely. You have you you've totally changed. I don't understand you anymore. Say this is please. If you don't mind, can you remove? The, the, the bean in your own eyes before you remove the, the speck in my own eyes. See, see, be careful. Okay? Talking to me like I see who, who caused it. You, of course. Not so fast, you foul demon. He that keep it them neither sleep nor slumber. You had better have a very good explanation for this irrational act of yours, or I will deal with you decisively. Are you blind? Can't you see they went to sleep without getting their quarrel settled again? <laughs> Ephesians 4, verse 26 and 27. Be hungry and sin it not. And do not let the sun go down upon your rod, and neither give place for the devil. Your point of argument, right? Mm. Psalm 32, verse 4. Blessed is the man upon whom the Lord did not impute iniquity, and in whom there is no guile. Why are you after my life? 
Reveal your identity. Reveal yourself, you coward. What do you know? How old are you to tell us to show our face? Who are you to challenge the ancient parts? I am a child of God. Sanctified and justified by His grace. I may not be as old as you are, but I carry the ancient of days. Therefore, I am not your mate. <laughs> you have overstepped your boundary, and you know so well. That thou shalt not shift the Haitian landmark. For whoever breaks an hedge, the serpent will bite. But you have the heavenry to challenge us. You prove to have the knowledge of the Haitians. <laughs> if yes, who is he that lives in darkness and controls the darkest? Of the darkness of this world, as the gate of death been shown to you, have you seen he who is strong? He is in the dark and controls the darkness. Have you joined in the darkest parts of the sea? Have you walked in the recess of the sea? <laughs> have you traveled? Run the expanses of the head. If you have, tell us. Do you? No, I don't. But I know he that laid the foundation of the earth. I know he that created light and darkness. Truly, I have not joined into the deepest part of the sea, none to the recess of the deep. But I know he that descended down to the deepest part of this earth and ascended and filled the whole universe. I know he that sit upon the circles of the earth and in the habitants thereof as a grasshopper. I know he that stretch out the heavens as cotton and spread them as a tent to dwell in. And God has highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name. That are by the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and everything in heaven, on earth, and on the earth, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is the Lord to the glory of the Father. I stand upon the rock of ages, you foul spirit. I bind you in the name of Jesus. me or oh, you kill me <laughs> purify me in and out lord or oh, you take me home i can't take this anymore lord save me and deliver me 
Let your mercy find me, Lord, and deliver me, Lord. Please, Daddy, deliver me. Lord, deliver me. Daddy, save me. Save me, Lord. Daddy, deliver me from sin. Set me free. Daddy, set me free. Let your mercy find me. For three good months? Aha. I need to know now. I don't think I have a place for it. By the way, why did you accept the, uh, going for the course without consulting first? I didn't lobby for it. I already told you I was chosen for the training. And it's a privilege. So, should I reject what I've been praying for? Baby, I, I understand you. But I don't think I have the grace for, for three months. But if you insist, I, can, I guess I can't stop you. But what I'm trying to let you to know is this. Your husband doesn't have the grace to stay away from his wife. I need a three months. But if you insist, no problem. But note, I don't have a grace for it. I don't. Where are you from, Sala? Mm. Yeah, um, sorry for keeping you waiting. I needed to receive the call. A minute. <clears throat> Oi. Sir. What's going on? Hmm? What's going on with your spiritual life? I thought you have burned the bridge. I thought you said you cut off with those sinful friends of yours. Wait a minute. Why are you still moving around with those friends? Uh huh. Hey, oh. And you know the Bible says that we should not be on equally yoked with unbelievers. Okay, now, yeah, open your Bible. Read Luke 11, 24 to 26. 24 to 26 says, When an impure spirit comes out of a person, it goes through arid places seeking rest and does not find it, then it says, I will return to the house I left. When it arrives, it finds the house swept clean and put in order. Mm -hmm. Then it goes and takes seven other spirits more wicked than itself. And they go in and, and live there. And the final condition of that person is worse than the first. Oh. Can you see? Can you see? Or do you want your latter end to be worse than before? No, sir. I'm sorry, sir. It's just that after my deliverance, I stopped moving with my sinful mates. But the believers are scared of me. What should I have done? I had no other choice than to go back to my sinful friends. I don't know what to do. Um, see, I, I understand you. I do. But you should have been patient. You should have been patient. The youth in the church, they would definitely warm up to you. Okay? It's okay. It's okay. But please, when you please, stay away from that old friends of yours. Give yourself gap. See, you need to get rid of them. Um, this is what I'm going to do. Whenever you're feeling lonely, come home. Okay? Come around. Come here. Mommy's always around. You know, I'm always there for you.
thank you so much, sir. Thank you for everything you have done. I really appreciate it. So, thank you so Before much. Before you leave, let's pray. Lord, deliver me. Have mercy on me, O oh Lord. I have betrayed your trust in me. I have dragged your name in the mud. This heart is not pure. Is filled of immorality. Ah, Lord, I have tried and tried the faith. Ah, Daddy, deliver me or you take me home. Ah, take me home. Lord, deliver me. Ah, deliver me, Lord. Project his image and let us weigh his worth. Only next level, eighty-eight percent. Purity level, eighty-five percent. Sincerity level, hundred percent. Service level, 70%. Truthfulness level, 95%. Impressive record. No agent dare go against this one. The fire in him will totally destroy such agents. There should be a way to snap the fool. I am losing my patience. If there are no loopholes in his life, then let's cousinize his righteous living. Voila! Let's do this. Wait! Check his hospitality and compassionate level. Hospitality level. 100%. Compassion level, 100%. Oni, very pleased with fast. Are you sure this will go for hand luggage? Oh sure, it doesn't weigh much. Don't worry, it will pass for hand luggage. Okay. Let, let's pray. Let's, let, let's pray. Uh, let's pray. Know, we have prayed inside. How many times are we going to pray? Uh, don't worry, it's prayer. Let's pray. Uh -uh. It's okay. Oh. Dear Lord, I just want to remind you again. As my baby is living for three months, at the US. Lord, grant our resounding success in the name of Jesus. Amen. Even though I'm not really pleased, but what can I do? I, I release her from my heart. Mm. I release her from my heart. Lord, my baby is in my hand. Protect her, mm. guide her, and bring her back safely to me. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And please, Lord, hmm? me too. Help me so that I will not misbehave before she returns. Just help me, Lord. Misbehave, and I will kill you myself. Mm. <laughs> Let's go. Your flight, please. Oh. Okay, not forgetting anything. Not at all. Okay. See, I don't have their time at all. They won't even listen to simple instructions. Don't mind them. When they see the symptoms, they won't come to the hospital. They won't rush themselves to the hospital. Self-medication every time. 
Ah, oh, Jesus. Well, do I blame them? It's not their fault now. It's the doctor's fault. He always indulges them. <laughs> if I were the one... Hey, 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 hey. Oh, please, leave Dr. Mark out of this. He is a man of God. Oh. Mm. So leave my pastor out of this. Dara, I always knew you had something for him. See, it is an old thing. Mm. And it has gone in the past and it can never come back again. Mm -hmm. Now, hi, mm -hmm. I am reborn. Hmm. I am a new creature Ish. in Christ Jesus. Huh. You born again. Hey. Be deceiving yourself. See, yes, deceiving yourself. If you like, believe. If you like, don't believe. Be born. Mm. Face your work. Is that what they, you were asked to do? It's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And who is that? It's me, sister. Hmm. This is the second time she's bringing food in this week. I hope her. Mm. Mm. You all don't know Dr. Mark like I do. Mm. Mm. See, Dr. Mark is not somebody that will yield to any lady's seduction. Mm. Mm. I trust him mm. with mm. all my heart. It's okay. Okay. That's why you will not face your work and do okay. what you're supposed to do. <laughs> sure. We need to talk. A very serious talk. You advised me not only to flee from sin, but all appearances of sin. But you do not practice what you preach. The nurses are already talking about that sister Oye, you know. She knows mommy traveled. Yet, she keeps bringing food and you keep encouraging her. Dara, Dara, calm down, okay? I'm fine. Can, can you sit down? No, okay. I'm, I'm fine. I'm okay. Dara, sit down. I'm fine. Alright. I can explain, okay? You know, when she's a lonely girl. And since our deliverance in the church, just few youth are bold enough to approach her. And I just told her to, you know, come around anytime she's feeling lonely. So that she will not return to her sinful friends. Then I understand me. Okay? In fact, anytime she comes around, what we do is we study the Bible, you know, fellowship together, and we pray. That's it. In short, I, I have not even tasted any of our food before. <laughs> no. No! I find that difficult to believe. You don't believe me? No, I don't. Okay. This is the food she brought. And the, the, the one she brought three days ago, I did not even eat it. I gave it to Nurse Christy and Ellen. You were not on duty. Dara, I understand, okay? I understand your care, but I'm very careful. Very careful. Please, I want you to be very careful with that girl. Our deliverance may not be total, you know. Come on. Devil may use her against you. Please. It's fine, Doc. Um, hold on, hold on. Um, before you leave, please, can I just, can I just take this, please? Okay. Sure. Thank you. Oh, God. Uh, well, 
she's not that bad now, you know. She's she's a good girl. She's she's beautiful. It's, she's not really that bad. No, 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 no. no. God, I rebook this lost thought in the name of Jesus. I, I soak my heart and my emotion in the blood of Jesus. All is set, except his worship habits. The moment he starts, white fire will surround the house and he will be unapproachable. That is not a problem. The antidote, the antidote is distraction. Distraction. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. I'm present. I'm home alone. All police were, sir. You take care of me. I receive an instruction from God to you. Whatever plans you have for tonight, please cancel it. Mm. Make this night a night of worship. Mm. Please don't entertain any distraction. Mm. Focus on God and worship Him. Wow. Well, uh, th th thank you very much, sir. I really appreciate this message, sir. Thank you very much. I will definitely do just as you said. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye for now, sir. Oh no, baby, I missed your call. I missed your call. Oh. Baby, I've missed you, eh? I've missed you so much. Please call me back. Please call me back before I off my phone. Please call me back, please. Eh? My love, please.
Hello, darling. How are you? Yes, uh, uh, I'm, 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 I, can't, I can't really talk now. I'm offering uh, worship to the Lord. Hello? Hello? Oui. Yes, please. What? No, I'm, I'm very busy right now. No, to tomorrow. Don't worry. Tomorrow. No. You said what? I, I, I can't attend to you right now. I'm, you're away. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Ah. But I'm be... Oh, all right, all right. Musa, please open the gate. Thank you. Ah. Oga? Hey, where do you? Oga never come. I never see him. Be like he's still inside. Ah. Ah. What is that? You said, don't wait, wait, wait. What happened? For this time? Hey, sickness here. Yeah. Okay, Eva. Eh? Okay, what's up? I'm big. Come on. Come on. I don't understand. How is it? How did it go? The body has been deposited into the mushroom. Sir, the condition we met him indicated that he had sexual intercourse last night. How come? How can a man who's well traveled have sexual intercourse? With who? Are you sure about this? We carry out some investigation, and the gate man said it's only one lady that visited it last night. And who could that be? Who is the lady? Can he recognize her? Deacon Harris' doctor, sir. Oh, you mean? Yes, Pastor. Oh, you consola. In the church school, we made that project to get to the root of this matter. We've already invited her. She's in the reception. Let me get her. This is very sad. The wife is coming back home for this time. How do you bring the news to her? It is sad. Dr. Mark, of all people, is not careless. He loves God. Yeah. This is a mystery. Mm. Oh, I guess you know why we invited you here. What happened yesterday night between you and Dr. Mark? Sir, I am not responsible for his death. The kids man is just lying against me. Pastor, she claimed that Musa is lying against her. And Musa said she's the last person to see daughter alive. Why did you visit a married man at night when you know that the wife traveled? Your dad told me you visited a friend on campus. Did you visit Dr. Mark or not? 
How some people are bash on you? Sir, I only branch there on my way from campus. Ah! ah! Eden, please, let's calm down. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. Yeah. And what happened while you were there? <laughs> Where is it? Oi! Hello? Good evening, sir. Oh, my goodness. Oi, what are you doing here? At this time? Actually, I feel lonely. But, but you know it's late. Well, you said anytime I feel lonely, I can come and talk to you. So I have nobody to talk to. So I. Yes, I know. See, um, see, I'm very, very busy right now. Okay, I have a lot of works to do. See, see, you have to go. You have to go. See, I understand your loneliness, your emotions, I do. See, if we are not careful, my dear, if we are not careful, this emotion thing can lead to immoralities and, you know, we begin to grow. What I'm trying to say is you have to leave now. But you said that please. when I'm... I know. Please. What? How? Oh, wait, please. Come, 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 come. Come, come. But you... I know. That's... See, I'm, I'm very busy right now, you know? I have a lot of things to do. So, but it's late and I'm a lady. I can't... Okay, let's just talk and... Wait. Leave. So, but... Wait, leave. leave. Now. about people saying that I was responsible for his death. He was the only one that gave me listening ears. Why will I have to pay him back with death? And you expect us to believe that trash? Well, we have contacted the police and we have to allow them to do their job without any interruption. Brethren, this is a tragedy. Today is not short service day and the whole place is filled up with sympathizers and people seeking answers. <sighs> Helders, please send SMS to all church workers. Okay. We will be having an emergency prayer meeting this evening okay. by 7 p.m. Please, whoever did not call is a suspect. Please go back inside. She does not know how we're here. 
Please go back inside. Look at the text message she sent. Look at what I'm showing you. We just need to pick a friend from, from the mirror. Go back. Sister, What's going on here? We just want to pick a friend from the mirror. And she's refusing to let us go. She doesn't know how we get. We can kill her. Oi! You are a suspect in this case. Ah, 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 ah. You want to escape, Abby? Ha! Osha! Thank you. Thank you for stopping her. Oh, you, were you not there? Were you not there when the pastor said nobody should be allowed to leave? She just wants to pick a friend from the mirror. She doesn't even know her way here. She's at the bus stop. When your leg aches you, you will go back inside. Go back inside. We are going to pour down fire upon every evil person in our midst. That the fire of God will pour to the prayer in the name of Jesus. I was there when the I said, go back to your seat. See, Sister Dara, even if a fly tries to fly in this place today, I will not allow it. So kindly respect yourself and gently go back to your seat. Mm -hmm. Agent Zara, it is time to go for the queue. The righteous one tried to save him, but he did not yield to divine messages. Praise the Almighty, your knight. Do not entertain distraction. He has flouted divine instructions. He must pay dearly for it. Is way above my level as an agent. He is strict and he may trust me out of his house. His compassion level is 100%. He's too compassionate to do that. We will put him in a precarious situation. Go now. Your team are around you. Go! Go! Go!
Oi, I asked you to leave. I'm busy, leave. D don't let me get angry. Go home, okay? Oi, I will seriously get... What are you doing here? Oh. What is wrong with you? Tell you are drunk. You, you are drunk. I'm sorry, Doc. My friends deceived me. They poured alcohol in my drink, but I am not drunk. Uh, Dara, Dara, I, I warned you with this, your friends. I warned you. But I said I am sorry. What do I do now? Um, Actually, your place is the nearest. And the surface place I can escape to. <laughs> Do you? Um, Dara, I, I understand, but I'm sorry, okay? I, I'm, I'm very busy right now. I can't accommodate you. Come on, get up. Get up. Get up. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up. Wait, wait, wait. You want to throw me out? You mean you really... Wanna throw me out? Yeah. Oh yeah, now throw me out Oof. from me. Oh. So you still want to throw me out into this demonic rain? Okay. I'll go. Where does one get to sleep here? Or you still want to throw me out? Okay, fine. <gasps> well, um, you, you can sleep at the settee. <laughs> Thank you. But what about you? Why are you going to sleep? My room, of course. Please, please, don't leave me alone here, please. Even if it is on the rug, please manage it with me. Please, I'm scared of thunder. What have I got to myself into? Please. Oh. Why did you stop? Continue!
mighty fallen, and the weapons of war go waste. Why, Lord? Why run back? Why? You are laughing. You destroy a powerful man of God, and you are here laughing like a mad woman. Oh God. I'm sorry though, my friends deceived me, they poured alcohol into my drink, wait, am I drunk? Dara, I know why you're here, I know what you're doing. Your mission has been exposed to the most high. But I can assure you that you will not succeed. Ah, uh, Doctor, you're talking to your darling spiritual... Be quiet! Your name is not Dara. Your name is Satire. Satire from the darkest of the dark underworld. A reputable member of the Order of the Dark Assassins. How come? I mean, how did you. You wonder how I know? <laughs> I have a God who reveals secrets to his own servant. Why am I even exchanging words with you? You foul spirit. Satire. <laughs> right now, hear me yet the Lord. Broke you and I bound you in the name of Jesus. Ah! Ah! This is not supposed to happen. Ah! that your foul members are around my premises polluting the atmosphere with immoralities and lust but they cannot even save themselves talk less of uh, uh, saving you now listen to me i cast you out and never return in the name of jesus <laughs> <laughs> 